yesterday we were reflecting on the passage of gospel of mark chapter 12 verses 28 to 34 i spoke about the intellectual discussion that was taking place between the scribes and jesus how jesus appreciates when we answer him well and also i mentioned about proper understanding of the scriptures and anyone who tries to pretend to be more intelligent than jesus by giving a kind of interpretations to what jesus said in such a way to find a fault with jesus to keep away from such people today let me get back to continue the reflection where the pertinent question was which commandment is the first of all so there are 10 commandments and we know all the commandments are to be followed we have to obey all the commandments and yet this man is asking jesus which is the commandment the first of all the priority commandment the primary commandment the basic commandment the fundamental commandment that we need to understand and apply it to our own lives the answer was jesus answered him the first is here over israel the lord our god the lord is one remember that there is only one god monotheism so this is what jesus is making it very clear there is only one god we may call him in different names but remember that no matter what name we give but the person of god is one god the father the triune god one god and three persons father son and the holy spirit triune god we our catholic church teaches that the one god is a triune god there are some people who give a kind of interpretation for the catholics there are three gods there are no three gods there is only one god and in that there is three persons father son and the holy spirit to give you maybe a kind of a lame uh, example when we look at sun the blazing sun sun moon the stars no sun s u n sun sun is heat sun is light and the matter which is the the sun all the three are together we say one sun there is only one sun because without heat there is no sun without light there is no sun we don't say therefore there are three suns no there is only one sun one star similarly three persons in the triune god so jesus is very clear about that teaching here o israel the lord our god the lord is one then he says and you shall love the lord your god with all your heart etc remember this there is a small specification that i want to bring to your attention jesus says you shall love the lord your god so the existing the god the triune god has to become my god now it is not enough to say that there is a god no no it is not enough to say there is a god we should have the guts to say guts to say that is my god he has to become a part and parcel of my life i have to give him priority when the scribe the one who asked the question to jesus he repeats what he what jesus said but there is a slight difference in the bible jesus the scribe said to him you are right teacher you have truly said that he is one and there is no other but he and to love him with all the heart with all the understanding with all the strength 
see the difference here is he does not say to love him with all your heart he does not say with all your understanding he does not say with all your strength rather he says with all the heart with all the understand the understanding with all the strength whereas when jesus was saying jesus made it very clear with all your heart with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength so here what is being established is the personal relationship it is only when we have the personal relationship with god we will be able to love him this slight difference i want you to keep in your mind it is not enough to say there is god that is a statement anybody can make it that does not affect me that does not affect you that does not affect anybody but when i say he is my god it affects me it influences me it fills me with his love and automatically from my heart there will be a response this is what jesus wants to elicit love him with all your heart with all your mind with all your strength now if you ask me for an example how how to love with all your heart with all your mind with all your understanding etc can we is human mind capable of that of course that is one of the wonders of the world recognized that is taj mahal taj mahal is accepted as the one uh, wonder of the world not because of its beauty or because of its size or because of the labor that has gone into it no it is considered as one of the wonders of the world only because it is the symbol of love of one man for his wife the king shah jahan built this temple this taj mahal for his beloved for his wife so that is the biggest expression ever shown by a human being whereas still bigger is the way we express our love towards god jesus loved to god and died on the cross he gave up he gave his life that is what is more important giving one's life we have martyrs in the church they gave up their life when they were asked either you ex- uh, accept what we say and reject god or accept a death they preferred death we have millions of martyrs in the church even today in the church people are killed because they believe in jesus there are people who are killed because they went to the church that is what i jesus uh, telling us love god your lord your god with all your heart with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength this is what i want you to reflect today that's all for the moment my dear now i am going to give my blessing trusting in the mercy of god tell god just now what help or what blessing you need or your family need for today believe that you are going to get it my blessing is only to help you to receive that needed god's help for you okay so here we go may almighty god bless you and your family in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen thank you for subscribing this channel and listening this talk very patiently please share this talk with any five of your friends who can appreciate and benefit from it from growing in god's grace is the experience of everyone who is listening for listening to two talks daily thank you very much god bless you wish you a good day yours humbly in the mission of the church bishop franco molakel